Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counterside video. Alright, so guess what today? We got the patch notes for tomorrow's uh, update. Plenty of good things going on. And surprisingly, no new Awaken yet, which uh, surprises me because I was expecting something along the lines of either uh, Awaken Jushin or Awaken Horizon to be coming soon, either last week or this week. But I guess I was wrong. Uh, maybe next week, we'll see how it goes. But this week, uh, I guess should have seen this coming. We got one new unit and a couple of new events. So let's wait, wait, hold on, hold on one moment, one moment. All right, guys, quick reminder. All right, if you guys are not aware, today is the last day for the current dive. So if you still have that dive, wait, it's not today. What? Two days, nine hours. Okay, regardless, uh, the, the dive, the thing, the reset coordinate is going to reset in two days, nine hours. So you guys know how this thing works. You cannot have two of these. So make sure if you haven't uh, pushed as far as you can, try to push as far as you can, and then use the reset coordinate. So yeah, just a quick reminder. All right, let's jump into the video. Game client mandatory update is coming. Please download the latest version after the maintenance. So uh, this means that there's uh, actually a new version on the Play Store or whatever store that you're using. So make sure you guys go there and you might have to download this manually sometimes if it fails, right? So as you can see, we're going to have an end of maze event. All right, so this is the event that was, I believe, the maze event. We have this last time as well. I believe it's a rerun of the event. So this is a very crucial event if you guys are suffering or lacking in gears because in this particular event, you will be able to buy maze gears from the shop which is very, very cool. All right, so event missions and shop unlock as well, as you can see. So my advice is farm as much as you can from this particular event because it's really, really valuable. Like the amount of maze skills that you can get is limited. So to get more of this is actually good. Uh, T6 are very valuable. So new challenge, Chloe's uh, gear material search starts. All right, so unfortunately, I was hoping we would get a credit search, Chloe's credit search, but we're getting gear material search instead. If it's Chloe's credit search, then it's kind of hard to focus on the event because most people would farm gold instead. But right now, I guess it's a it's a win-win for us. We can actually focus on the event itself. So credit operation, profit creation starts. All right, there's a new supply operation here. Counter case. Now this one is cool. They haven't added any counter case in a long time. And I personally am a big fan of these counter cases because uh, it allows us to look at the story of these specific few characters, right? In this case, the Alpha Tricks and Zodiac Knights, Shinja, Kim Chuwoon, Lee Jin, Asterosa, Arius, and Fionn. Very cool, very cool. Uh, definitely appreciate it so that we can know more about their history, their past, their story, etc. So Dorm Company Dinner Unlock. I'm not too sure what dormitory feature these are, but dormitory in this game is just a little bit lacking. So they are trying to add more and more things, which makes sense. So gear enhancement season punch in, welfare system, collision buff. Now, as you can see, new raid boss, inhibitor has arrived. Okay, so as you can see, we have new raid boss, inhibitor. Now, this is apparently going to be harder than the worm boss. So keep that in mind. Now, I will try to, you know, devise a strat, but I'm pretty sure a lot of the KR players have already made guides on, on this particular boss. But as far as I know, you should be able to use similar units, but it's going to be... Uh, a lot harder apparently. So keep that in mind. You might have to use um, rearm along the ways. New normal recruitment of Lara Jaeger. So we're going to talk about her shortly after this. Operator recruitment for Replacer King Kim Hana. So I don't recommend going for Operator and I don't really... Lara Jaeger, it depends. We're going to talk about her after this. All right. So Sky Layfield, Artilana, KC Beans are all added to the normal recruitment. Devoted Case, Devoted Suit, and Devoted Panel are on the Garlet Seasonal Shop. Okay. So we get a devoted packs. So pretty cool. So this will replace the the seasonal gears. All right. So I, I think the previous one was what was it called? It's not courageous, right? It's uh it's called something, but I forgot what it's called again. But this will be replacing those that were there previously. And of course, a bunch of packages are coming back. So there were some couple of fixes for friendly match uh, operation. Some quality of life here as well. They added like filtering tabs, uh for operator to choose the side skill for awaken and rearm very interesting all right plenty of things here they even removed t1 and t2 gear crafting which is pretty interesting a uh, relevant modes will be converted into credits i guess that's fair right who use t1 and t2 uh, anymore but you still can farm them and get them from some stages 
So with that being said, the only relevant units that we can talk about is Lara Jaeger in the current uh, banner, which is good. If you don't want to pull for her, I do think it's fine. So let's talk about her kits and where she's mostly used at. Again, big shout out to brightwind.co for this awesome, beautiful website. Okay, so Petrol, tower unit that moves through the battleground evading all attacks. So what's her concept about, right? She's a tower unit, 4 cores, and she circles around in a particular area, uh, which is quite unique, alright? Most tower units, when you deploy them, they stay there. They just mo don't move, they stay still. However, Lara Jaeger is, I believe, the first tower unit to be introduced that moves around a little bit. Okay, maybe not the first one. She's similar to ATAC, that aeroplane that can move around as well. So she's sort of a ground version of that, I guess. Okay, so inflicts AoE damage on surrounding targets while moving. Alright, so pretty basic here. Passive skill. So repeatedly moves between two points when deployed. She enters perfect evasion mode. So she's quite hard to kill when deployed and it becomes immune to knockback. And as you can see, this is something that, again, not too PvE oriented. It's very PvP focused where she just circle around and just delay the opponent basically. Hopefully they don't get to your... The siege units don't get to your ship. Right? So attack plus 2% at the end of trip every time. So it will increase the attack every time she makes a full circle, I guess. Alright, special skill. Spins as she moves, inflict AoE damage on surrounding targets, increase damage resistance. So pretty tanky by 20%, right? For 8 seconds after the skill. Additionally, also decreases enemy's attack speed. I guess this does help to debuff a little bit of the enemy. And last but not least, the uh, Rider Jet Kick right here, which is her ultimate skill. Double jumps performs powerful kick. Increase speed by 50% for 10 seconds after the skill's effect. And ultimate skill damage increase uh, again by 5% per trip. Pretty interesting concept, but again, as you can see, this is not something that you really need in PvE, right? So there's not many good... We already have plenty of good uh, tower units for PvE, like I would say Maria, because she buffs everyone. Alright, Sigma is going to be quite good as well because Sigma gives you plus one uh, deployment cost, right? But for Lara Jaeger, she doesn't have anything that excels in PvE. I guess in some stage you can still use her, but there's always going to be better options. So she's much more of a PvP-focused, PvP-oriented uh, character. And with Tower Xiaolin right now in our meta already, I'm not sure if you really need this particular Tower unit. So only pull for her if you think she's waifu, right? And you really want her for collection purposes. Otherwise, I would say skip for her. Personally, I'm not going to pull for her tomorrow. All right, but if any of you guys want, maybe we'll do some pulls. And hey, we're going to try out the new raid boss, the inhibitor boss. That one is going to be really, really interesting. I've seen some of the uh, KR players tried it out. Uh, it looks like a fun boss, all right? New mechanics, new concept. So hopefully when that comes out, we're going to check it out as well. All right, all right. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and at least... It's a good rest week for all of us. Like, we don't have to spend anything. Pretty chill week. I appreciate it. At least not, it's not as rushed as the past couple of weeks. And um, yeah, the event, I don't think I can finish it. Uh, right now, I'm a bit struggling. I am not even close to buying the things that I want. I really want to buy the binary, this, this, this. And then uh, this one, I need to buy this, this. Yeah, I'll just uh, sweep as much as I can for the rest of the day until tomorrow's uh, maintenance. Alright, so with that being said, subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.